the North Korea nuclear weapons program could be part funded by tourists visiting a popular landmark in Southeast Asia, according to an expert on the rogue state. North Korea has sparked fears of World War III with its ongoing efforts to build and test an arsenal of nuclear missiles. And now, it has been revealed American and British tourists could indirectly be funding Kim Jong-un's attempts to become a nuclear superpower. Virginie Gzolchek, author of North Korea's New Diplomacy, Challenging Political Isolation in the 21st Century, revealed to Express.co.uk North Korea has used a string of overseas construction projects to ensure much-needed foreign currency still arrives in Pyongyang, despite international sanctions. She said, as well as widespread smuggling activities, it has fostered relations with African and Asian states through construction and monument building projects and sent thousands of sponsored workers to Gulf states like Qatar. This has created some surprising paradoxes, for instance, many tourists to Cambodia will be unaware that every ticket they buy for the new Angkor Wat Museum near the famous ruined city results in $10 being sent back to North Korea. However, Ims Gzolchik insisted it was hard to know what the funds are used for. She said, it might be used for a number of things. It might be used for development, but it might be used for fun nuclear activity, that we don't know. The expert also said Kim Jong-un is close to completion of a nuclear weapon capable of devastating the United States, after a series of threats from Kim Jong-un. Ims Gzolchik said, they are probably quite close to having actually having what they need for a nuclear weapon to be used. There is this idea that you can have surgical nuclear weapons, but at the moment it doesn't matter if they have a huge one or a small one because of the radiation spreads. Another international expert has warned Donald Trump may have to invade if he wants to stop North Korea's nuclear program. David Tafuri, an international lawyer, suggested an aerial campaign against North Korea may not be sufficient to end its nuclear threat. That's why we have to keep talking about military options. Now, the Joint Chiefs, just a couple of days ago, were talking about military options. And, they reminded people that even if we use a full-on air campaign, we probably can't get all of North Korea's nuclear weapons. That means we will have to invade. In the simplest terms, that means there will be a lot of collateral damage for us and also allies, like South Korea and Japan.